People don't usually worry about the occasional cough, but when you have a persistent cough and shortness of breath, it could be a sign of a serious and little-known lung disease called IPF or idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Joining us to talk about symptoms and how to manage this disease Hi, Dr. Sangdia Brode, Director of the Lung Transplant Program at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago, along with IPF patient Mark Cochran, who was diagnosed with IPF in 2016. Doctor, what exactly is IPF and what are some of the common symptoms? IPF is a disorder called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Idiopathic basically means we just don't know what causes this disease, but it's a disease that causes scarring of the lungs. It's irreversible and unfortunately progressive. It affects about 100,000 Americans uh, yearly and uh, has been associated with uh, the survival rate associated with this disease sometimes is worse than certain types of cancers. Doctor, are there any treatments for IPF? There are currently two FDA approved therapies for the treatment of IPF, including perfenidone, also known as Espriate. Mark, yes. how were you diagnosed with IPF and how do you manage your disease? I was diagnosed 16 months ago after a, uh, uh, an issue of uh, shortness of breath which developed into, I ended up getting pneumonia and in the hospital being treated for the pneumonia is when they discovered I had the disease and that's when I contacted Dr. Barati and, and got in her program and, and uh, we've been doing the Espriate and exercise uh, program and it's um, getting very good results. Doctor, is there anything else you'd like our viewers to know about IPF? So IPF, so the symptoms that uh, often occur when we diagnose a patient with IPF are very nonspecific. So people can come in with a cough, they can come in with a little bit of being more tired, um, sometimes a little bit more short of breath, and it tends to affect people that are over the age of 50, more common in men than women, and so, you know, I. I I'd like to say that if you do have symptoms that just are lingering and are not going away, the most important thing to do is, is seek attention from your doctor just to make sure that you don't have a lung disease and certainly not a lung disease like IPF. Uh, Mark uh, presented very similarly with, with symptoms of uh, a pneumonia um, and we were lucky to be able to diagnose him yes. early. Right. I think I caught it early and it, it, they've really slowed down the progression of the disease. So in the last 16 months I've seen uh, very minor changes in my condition which is great news. Mark, is there anything you'd like our new viewers to know about IPF if they are diagnosed with the disease? Uh, don't Google it. Um, I would look at the uh, Espriot.com uh, website or some other websites. Uh, it's a devastating, it's an incurable disease. And so it's, it's devastating news, but uh, I found that uh, with the, uh, the medication and exercise that I'm still living an active, fairly normal life. I'd like to thank you both for taking the time and talking with us today. Have a great day. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having us. Bye.